and you know, most of my clients are truckers. So we got a lot of owner operators right now. Yeah. Traditional banks don't want to deal with truckers. Yeah. You know, you go to Wells Fargo, Chase. I mean, they're not going to want to touch you, especially if you're under two years in business. Um, it's considered a risky industry. So we're able to do that. You know, you know, my average clients between, you know, 30,000 30, and $40,000 cash advance. Yeah. So, that's awesome. Well, and yeah. you know, what it, what it makes people realize is, you know, Nelson Nash always said, it's not about the rate when you, when you take out a loan and you're right, it's not about the rate. It's what are you going to do with that money and what can, what can you make on the money? Right. Yeah. So, and, and it's not just in those 12 months or that short period of time for the loan, it's that truck or whatever they're buying, or even if they're buying a, a trailer or maybe they're buying car. I mean, I don't know what they're buying from you, but the, you know, that, that if they were buying a truck, that truck might last them how many years, right? Most of the time they use the money for a down payment on the truck or they got to fix their truck to get back on the road and make more money and, or they want to hire a driver, you know, yeah. standard. But yeah, you know, if you're, if you're borrowing money and making money, it costs you nothing. That's, that's right. In fact, you don't pay that interest. The customer does, right? Whoever, mm -hmm. you're, whoever you're hauling a load for, they pay for it, not you. And, then, and Nelson talks about that in his books too. Like the yeah. consumer pays for it. Yeah. 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 You know, see, that's the thing that you got to think about when people think about the rate, then they're, they're focusing on the wrong thing right. is, is it's really not about the rate because short-term money that quick costs money. Yeah. But if I need it, cause I can use it cause I can benefit from it, then man, it's gold. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, sometimes, you know, SBA takes, you know, 45 to 60 days on average, right? I'm sure you're familiar with that. And uh, clients don't want to wait that long. So sometimes we'll get them a cash advance and bridge them over till they get the SBA. And then they pay off that cash advance with the SBA money. You know, you know, people like SBA um, loans are the people that have never had an SBA loan because <laughs> uh, <laughs> just there's lots of pitfalls, as you know, Joe, in an SBA loan that people never realize until they're in it oh uh, and they're so strict on their underwriting you know the credit the collateral i mean you're signing your life away yeah the, the collateral and you know they it is not to your advantage trust me if you're working with the government and it, and you're dealing with money it will not be to your advantage there's you know they're a parasite government is a parasite and you're the host they're feeding off of you not the other way around What's, what's what funny is like, because you're, you're a business owner too, and there's a, there's a program floating around right now called the Employee Retention Credit, right? right. Yeah. And we're, oh, it's free money. Never has to be paid back up to 26500 per W-2 employee. Well, people are eating this up. You know, I get messages on LinkedIn. Hey, can you send me uh, some information on this? And yeah, we get them in and they, they get pre-qualified for 50 grand and they're jacked. Yeah. But there's always a consequence on the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah.